trying to take us down with it? No. That was probably that ship's original intent. If they're under Kray's orders. <laughs> what? Turn the rune of punishment over there. What did you say? No! You... you can't! I'm sorry, it's our only option. Unless you have a better idea, don't doubt my expertise. <sighs> Those who fear the power of the rune, get away from here, right now! No one will stop you. It seems like you've got some very good friends here, but the rest is up to you. I'm sorry we made you do this. Quickly, let's carry him to his room. Carry that side. That's it. Take it slow. I just can't agree with how Ms. Eleanor does things. Why's that? It wasn't actually wrong. <sighs> no, I understand. I... what I'm talking about is, well, just how I feel. Damn it. It just doesn't feel right, you know? I'm sorry. We've met before, haven't we? Uh, well, well, uh, uh. Why have you returned? What makes you believe that I will welcome someone who purposely lost contact with me? Well, I, uh, I, I've been collecting all sorts of information, as a matter of fact. Is that so? Yes. Um, that explains the lack of communication. I did not want to blow my cover. In return, if you will, I was hoping you'd make even better use of me. Oh, I see. The truth is, I gathered quite a bit of valuable information regarding the rune. I... I know that the chairman has been searching a very long time for it. Really? <gasps> Unfortunately, I cannot trust you. Especially someone with quite a set of loose lips like yours.
open this map. Take care of it. Oh. So, do you agree with Graham Cray's beliefs? No comment. The fleet that charged at us, do you think that was at Cray's sole discretion? I said no comment. Very well. Oh yeah, about your ships. We'll be putting them to good use, so don't worry about them. <clears throat> He'll join us, don't you agree? We'd simply be wasting our time trying to persuade him. I can see the conviction in his eyes. I see. I'm learning so much from you. What's that? Hmm? Hey, 
Hey, that's... Mr. Romanus! It's got something. Mr. Romada.
The time has finally come. Now here's a simple explanation of our strategy. Uh, can you keep it brief, please? I have trouble remembering long-winded things. I just got done saying it would be simple. You do remember that, don't you? Right. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, go on. I'll give you detailed instructions when the time comes. But first... About the rune cannon. Show it to me one more time. Fort El Eel is at the southern end of Kuluk. It also serves as a window to commerce and diplomacy. It's called a fort, but it's more like a large castle. The rune cannon is at the top of the building. If we don't destroy it, we won't be able to get close. So first, we'll send in a detachment to get rid of it. At the same time, our main force will remain in front and attack Kuluk's first fleet. This fleet usually roams the area near the harbor in case the rune cannon cannot be fired. There are times when the rune cannon cannot be fired? Once it's been fired, that particular rune cannon takes time to reload. It was written in the letter from Mr. Amada. We'll have to trust that information. This downtime will be the perfect opportunity for us to strike. I see. So we're going to make them fire the rune cannon once, then destroy it before they can fire another round. Well, that's pretty much it. Have I made myself clear? Want to hear it again? Okay. Shall we go with this plan, then?
Okay. I'd like to execute this in the morning, three days from now. Everyone, please use this time to get ready. I'd like you to decide on members for the detachment. Come talk to me whenever it's convenient. So you are going after all, even though you finally regained your kingdom? Yes. If we leave everything as is, we're bound to suffer the same consequences. Even you know that, don't you, Setsu? Yes, sir. All right, everybody, listen up. Once we hit El Il, the threat to the islands should disappear for a while. It may only be temporary, though. But remember, we're fighting for lasting peace. That's exactly what's most important to all of us now, right? Right. And that's why I chose to put my life on the line. Thank you. 